Man, these daily vlogs got my hard drives all filled. I just wanna. Mm. Today's topic is gonna be Dropbox versus. Google Drive. <laughs> I always wanted to like drop a box and say, let's talk about Dropbox. Um, so thanks for letting me do that. Don't read into it too much because there are cons and pros of having both Google Drive or Dropbox. But today I just want to focus on like one little thing. Uh, one day I'll do like a full on like review for Google Drive and Dropbox uh, and tell you which one's best. But for today, uh, if this applies to you, this applies to mostly for photographers and videographers just so that we deal with so many large files. Um, and this one feature that I'm talking about is the efficiency of how it indexes things. So what I mean by that, I have a demonstration here. Yeah, so I wanted to look for like a bunch of M&Ms and this is all I could find guys. Yeah, this is rice grains. <laughs> Stereotype is real. <laughs> but that's all I got, okay? Alright, so let's go. Alright, so this is one file location with a bunch of files. The rice represents each of the files and this is folder location 1, folder location 2. So if you want to move in a Dropbox bunch of files to a new folder location, this is how Dropbox handles it. Done. This is how Google Drive handles it. All right, let's move them. Let's move the files. And I'm being generous on speed over here. Moved. So to demonstrate that in real life, I have folders set up here. So let's jump into my computer. Okay, guys, so I have two folders set up over here. One on the left is Google Drive and one on the right is Dropbox. So let's go through Google Drive first. So I have here is a video file. It's 1.3 gigabytes in size. So it's a decent sized video file. And we're just going to handle one file for now as a demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then copy it to a different location outside. And let's see how Google Drive handles this file. So a smart indexing system would know that it's the same exact file and it doesn't have to re-upload the whole entire file. It'll just have another pointer going to that and that's how a smart system should handle it. So let's see how Google Drive handles it. So as you can see on the right bottom corner, Google Drive is re-uploading the whole entire file all over again. And it's not that fast either. So 1.3 gigabytes of file, it's going to have to upload it. And it's going to take a while. Right now it's 11.50 p.m. as you can see. Oh wow, it's slower than I thought. <laughs> Is it done yet? Oh, 2%. Oh no. Can I go have a sandwich and come back? 2,000 years later. And we're back. Okay, it is 12.09 a.m. guys. It literally took a day for this thing to copy. It's not even done yet. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is Google Drive for you. So, and complete. 19 minutes later, it has finally completed 1.3 gigs of file transfer that it should have just taken seconds rather because it's the same exact file guys. So let me show you this on Dropbox, how it handles it. All right, so in Dropbox over here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this file, right? And let me just paste it over here. And let's see how long it takes. All right, we gotta let the computer copy it first. All right, it's done copying. The time is currently 12.10 a.m. Here's Dropbox over here. Um, let's see how smartly it indexes it. It's the same exact file, therefore it shouldn't have to make a whole entire copy in itself and upload it all over again to actually make this file be available to you, right? So, boom. Yeah, less than a minute, right? It's up to date, as you can see, and it's done syncing. So in a nutshell guys, that is the only reason why I am keeping Dropbox around. It is a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'm paying like $10 a month for Dropbox right now for one terabyte. And I'm only paying like $5 extra for one terabyte on my Google Drive. Because I do have G Suite, uh, so I have business Gmail account that if you just pay $5 more, they give you one terabyte. So hopefully this information was somewhat useful to somebody out there debating whether you should get Google Drive or Dropbox or both. Uh, in the future, I'll definitely do like a full-on review of both systems. There are lots of cons and pros on both systems. So if you deal with a lot of files, especially photos and video that are large files, yeah, definitely watch that in the future. But today, it's all about daily vlogs. So I am done for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.